Hi all, today we will discuss about all the microservice interview questions related for freshness and experience. So Java with the Spring Boot and microservices uh, related interview questions will be there. So most of the microservice topic will be covered like what are what all are the topics and in questions they will cover related for microservice. So this is from 0 to uh, 10 years of experience based on the Java developers and all. So Spring, the first question is uh, what is a microservice and how to how do how to uh, differ from this monolithic architecture so we have a monolithic SOA and microservice architecture so what is difference between this th these three so when to use monolithic when to use microservice and when to use SOA so this is the first question which is asked have you used microservice if you use microservice what is microservice and what is a dip how they differ from this monolithic and the second question is why microservice consider a suitable architectures choice for the modern applications what why we are using microservices suitable for this architecture for the modern applications what is the difference what all are the component we are using in microservice so that is suitable for that developments and all and the next question is can you explain the key principle of microservice such as independence and uh, a single responsibility and communications and all so we have a uh, asynchronous communications what all are the responsibility and independence and all so these all are the principles which have microservice such as many principles are there so can you explain all the principles please and the next question is what is the advantage and disadvantage of microservice while we use a microservice we have a multiple advantage and disadvantage to develop applications deploy the application monitor the applications and all so why we are using so most of our advantage that's and some of disadvantage also there and the next question is uh, how does uh, java technology fit into microservice development so if we are using for the java with a spring boot microservices and all so how does java technology fit for the microservice development and the next question is what is a spring boot how does it simplify microservice development in java so while we use a spring uh, framework using a spring boot concept so how we will simplify the microservice development in java and the next question is uh, explain the role of container and uh, containers orchestration tools like docker kubernetes in java microservice so what is the use of docker what is the use of kubernetes And for communications and integration, some of the microservice interview questions uh, like how microservice communicate with each other, what all are the communication protocols are commonly used. What is a REST? Next question is what is REST and how it is used for the microservice for the communication. And the next question is what is the role of API gateway in microservice and can you give some name? Uh, popular API gateway solution in Java so what is API gateway what all are the API gateways there which you API gateway you used in your project and all and this is some service discovery related for, uh, questions which will be covered in microservices so what is service discovery why it is important in a microservice architectures can you explain this service discovery and all can you explain how tools like Eureka or console help with microservice discovery in my with service discovery in microservice or java microservices so we have a multiple tools like there eureka is the most popular tools where we can use a service discovery in microservice some of the questions related for are load balancing so the load balancing why load balancing important in microservice in environment and how how can it be achieved uh, in java microservice so what all are the load balancing in there ribbon and all are there so which is used for the load balancing of microservice and the next question is uh, what is a client side load balance and how does it uh, differ from server side load balancer so load balancer mostly we have a two types one is a client side load balance and other is a server side load balance so when what is the difference between both and when to use load balance client side and when to use server side load balance and some of the questions related for database in microservice so what is the 
what all are the challenges of managing database in a microservice architecture so suppose if we are using database what all are the challenges we are using to manage the database in microservice architectures uh, so can you explain all those things and how does how does the use of polyglot polyglot persistence fit into the microservice architectures why it is important and some of the questions related for security in microservice so what what all are the common security challenges in microservice and how can they be addressed in java so uh, suppose uh, have you used jwt octas and all so what all are the securities we can use to, uh, in microservices and common challenges and all can you explain the role of oauth and jwt in securing the microservice this is the popular or uh, security mechanism which is used in microservice either jwt oauth and all some of the questions related for testing deployment testing and deployment so how do we ensure this reliability of microservice through the testing explain the concept of blue glaze deployment and canary deployment in the context of microservice what is blue green deployment what is canary deployment in a context of microservice some of the questions related for monitoring and logging the microservices so the first question is uh, like uh, what all are the key uh, metrics and logs to monitor in a microservice architectures how can java tools like uh, spring cloud sleuth and jemkin jepkins will help so these all are related for to check the metrics logs and monitor the microservice architectures so where we can use multiple tools like a spring cloud sleuth and jepkins and all and the next question is how does centralized logging will work and centralized logging benefits in microservice applications like elk stacks and all and the some of the questions related for step scalability so how can microservice be a scalable uh, horizontal and what or to what all are the considerations for dynamic scaling in java microservice so resilience for the uh, questions like uh, what is a static uh, strategy a strategy can be used to make a microservice resilience to failure and how does a circuit breaker will patterns will work so we have a multiple circuit breakers is there uh, so resilience for the uh, or resilience is a very uh, good examples in that to handle the circuit breakers now we have a distributed uh, tracing so what is distributed tracing how can we how can we it you it be implemented in java microservice for troubleshooting and performance log optimizations so these all are the questions which will be covered uh, uh, related for this uh, microservices so this microservices interview questions will be covered in all the interview like the pressures and experience and all so that will be start from 0 to 10 years of experience if you are working on any